Good evening, my friends, and welcome to the Jackery Spring Sale Show. That's right, the Jackery Spring Sale Show. That's what we're going to call this tonight. Uh, guys, we have a nice little live show set up for you with a bunch of cool products at a very, very, very beautiful price point. Now, guys, these products can range from just helping you out around the house or to on the adventure or on the go. Um, they can also help you out in the shop, the garage, or even, of course, in the woodshed. Depending on where you guys want to put it, where you guys want to use it, you have those options with these power stations. Uh, Alex, hello. How are you doing? Uh, so with that, guys, we're going to show you guys a bunch of cool stuff. What you guys will see down there in the corner is, of course, a little banner. Uh, that banner is going to swap back and forth and show you guys a few different things. First and foremost, there is, of course, a clippable coupon code. When you spend over $1,000 that you can type in that code at your... Uh, at the end of your uh, cart and uh, get, of course, that 5% off. There's also that little uh, exclusive buy. When you buy the 1000 plus, you get a very cool little station with it as well. Uh, so do make sure to check out that banner. Now, for those of you that are new around here, make sure to give a follow. And of course, you guys will get notified when we go live while we do these. Now, we're going to start this off like I normally do. We're going to show you guys the packages that comes with most of these kits. Now, yes, that's right. All of these stations will come with a package or a set of cables. Depending on the package you get, the set will come slightly different. Now, most of them will range with, of course, a little carrying pouch just like this. And, of course, has their logo right there in that bright, beautiful orange colorway. Now, of course, it does have a little handle to carry it around. And inside here, it's got a little zipper that's going to pull open. Now, with that, of course, we're going to pop this up. And, of course, we're going to show you guys some of the cables. First and foremost, you're going to get, of course, a power cable that's going to allow you to charge it on your house power. Now, it may come this style or it may come, of course, in a DC style plug almost like your laptop power bricks. Now you'll also get a variety of different cables ranging from like, let's say a cigarette lighter plug style. So you can charge it on the go in your car or of course in the uh, RV toy haulers or other devices with that. Now with it, of course, guys, you're also gonna get this beautiful little uh, connector depending on the power station. This is gonna be like, I believe, the 2000 plus series. Uh, you're gonna get, of course, this little adapter that's going to allow you to uh, multi-connect up extra solar panels. Now, some of them will come, of course, with adapters. These adapters are gonna allow you to connect up solar panels to the DC plugs with that. Now, every package also gets a user manual. The user manual might come in handy for some of you guys in case you guys get like, let's say, the plus series stations uh, because those are, of course, app acceptable to run that. Now with this, guys, we're going to start the show off with, of course, the Jackery Explorer 100 plus. Uh, we do have Lois in chat, guys, and we also have Justin around here as well. So if you guys have questions, make sure to ask and we will definitely do our best to answer those questions. Now, like I said, we're going to start off with the 100 Plus. And now, the 100 Plus does come with a little separate cable style. Uh, Adam, hello. How are you doing? Now, with the, of course, right here, this is what's going to come with the 100 Plus. This is a USB-C to USB-C cable. This cable is going to allow for 100 watts of pass-through charging capability. It's also going to come with this little adapter plug. This adapter plug is going to allow you to plug in a solar panel into it. It's a DC plug with the USB-C port. Now with that, of course, you get the little power station, and this power station is actually 33% off tonight, $99. This is a power station that's going to fit in the palm of your hand. Now this is actually kind of cool. This little thing will do 99 watt hours of power or 31,000 milliamps of power for you. Now it does have, of course, a digital display that's going to light up and show you guys the charge. I haven't actually used it since yesterday's show, so it still has 69% charge. It's also going to show you guys your voltage in and out so you can see the input and output at the same time. Now with that, you also get that USB-A input that's going to allow you to charge, of course, your phones and other devices at 18 watts max charging capability. And that's going to be good for like your Android devices and other pieces or even just your lighting gear, kind of like I have over here. There's a Keystone light up here. There's a few others as well. Now you also have two USB-C ports. Those are actually in and out ports. It's going to allow for 100 watts with that. That's actually a cool little piece. Now, 
lowest did post over here, guys, on the Jackery channel, that coupon or that code that you can input at the end if you purchase over a thousand dollars worth of stuff, just so you guys know. Now, for those of you not over on the Jackery channel, I did click the link so you guys can see what's in the carousel tonight for you. Now, with this, this is going to do some cool stuff. First and foremost, you can have this fully charged in under two hours, no problem. You're good to go. But it's going to allow you to charge multiple items as well with that. Uh, ranging from, let's say, your laptops to your iPhones to your uh, tablets or other devices. Now, I tell you guys this uh, every so often. I did, and of course, have used this quite a bit. I use it to charge my phones, lighting gear, and everything in between. So this actually gets used the most out of all of these products uh, in here because it's like a go-to for me when I'm recording videos. Now, I actually had a Nintendo Switch plugged into this and a portable monitor, and this is actually kind of cool. So when you do that, guys, you can actually run that for approximately four and a half hours with no problem off of this. That means this little thing will allow you to game until your power comes up or if you're on the go. This is a cool one. A nice little piece with this weighs about two pounds, so you guys definitely can take it on the go. This is actually ac accessible, so you can take it on a backpack. You can even uh, go in, of course, on a plane with it because it is a battery-style system. Uh, that means you guys will have that power on the plane. You'll have to plug into, of course, the USB ports on your seats. Kind of like that idea. So the 100 plus, great little piece. Now with that, guys, you also, there is a buy one, get one free deal. So if you get the 1000 plus system, you also get, of course, the little power station with it. So guys, do know that. Uh, banners down there below. Check them out. Any questions about those, please ask. We will definitely answer. Now with that, I believe we're going to be moving over to the 240 or the 240. Now the 240 is a cool little power station as well. So the Jackery Explorer 240 is the little, the bigger brother of the 100 plus, but it's one of their older styles. But it's still very, very beautifully well done. Now 240, that's actually not the 240. I grabbed the wrong one. That's the 240. So this is, of course, the 240. Travel Diva, how are you doing? Uh, do you? Right on, right on, Travel Diva. Um, um, the 100 Plus will not be able to run your car charger. Uh, this one will... Uh, I'm not going to say that's where you're going to get at that, guys. Uh, definitely the 500 or bigger should be able to plug like a car battery charger into it, depending on how big that car charger is. Now, I will tell you, though, they do offer, of course, a little uh, charging system that plugs into these kits. So you do know that. Now, we will get into, guys, there is actually a, buy, uh, a kit like the E1000 Plus kit with two solar panels uh, that gets the 100 Plus system for free. So that's what that banner is down there. So just remember, uh, we will get to that in a while, but it is there. Now, the 240 is 240 watt hours of power, pure sine wave connectability with 200 watts through that AC plug. That AC plug is going to allow you to plug in, of course, a lot of stuff with this. Um, will the 300 be able to... Uh, the, your treadmill? That's a good question. Will the 300 be able to run your treadmill? That really just depends on how much power your treadmill is. Um, I don't know what the power rating of your treadmill is to tell you if it could or not. So, <laughs> now the 240 is already 9% off, guys, but do know there's a $40 clippable coupon with this, of course. Now, this does have, of course, th uh, two USB-A ports. Those USB-A ports are 5 volt, 2.4 amps. You also have that DC plug as well over there. Now, you do have, of course, this little button. It's going to turn on that display to show you guys the charge rate. Uh, your voltage in and out, and of course, you have that DC plug on the side. Has that beautiful logo. Now, I will tell you, this actually has a great drop protection. Now, it's a class 9 drop protection, UL drop protection. Uh, I will tell you, though, I dropped this from a very high rate of uh, height that I was not trying to do, and it actually did not cause any damage and still works perfectly fine. So you're good there right, to a point. I don't recommend tossing it around, but hey, you, if you guys drop it on accident, things happen. Just know it's got that. Now these, of course, are LifePo4 cells. They are individually wrapped LifePo cells. 
Now with this though, it's gonna take approximately three and a half hours to fully charge this device. Now with that, it'll take you about five hours to charge it in your car if you use the cigarette lighter. Uh, if you have a solar panel, about four and a half to five hours, depending on the solar panel that you plug in that. That's gonna be like your Solar Saga 60 panel, your Solar Saga 80 panel, and the 100 panel. Uh, so just know you have those ranges of uh, usage. Now with this though, you can use your camera gear and you can charge your, your DSLR camera batteries. Uh, and I will show you guys like that because I do use those quite a bit. This stack of batteries, like these ones right here, you'll get approximately 15 or more charges. Uh, that means you'll be able to charge about 15 of these or 15 times off of the 240. Or you can do, like I said, that Nintendo Switch to keep the kids nice and happy about 40 hours of playtime with that off of this. So if you need to recharge that Nintendo Switch, you can do that or just have it plugged in running off of that. This is a cool piece. Now, this weighs approximately six and a half pounds, so it is still nice, light, and accessible. It has, of course, that cooling technology to keep those batteries nice and protected uh, with that. So equipped with six plugs, six out ports, and you have all the accessibility with this. Nice and portable. Uh, the 240 is a great little piece for quick emergencies or weekend camping trips uh, for charging your phones or lighting gear and stuff like that. Uh, or for even for the photographers. If you guys are photographers and you have to use like lighting gear like I do, uh, these will definitely run those. Now we're going to move that over with that. Um, yeah, so uh, Trent, I'm not really sure what the power of your treadmill is, so I would say I'm not sure if it will run it or not. Now we're gonna move over to the 300, the Jackery Explorer 300. Uh, this is like 18% off tonight. It's like $229, normally $279. Uh, it's another really cool one. Now this one's actually got multiple AC outlets and still, of course, very accessible and portable. The one thing I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna move my camera. I did realize it moved to shift it a little, so I'm gonna fix that. Now with this, right here is a beautiful little Power station with two AC outlets, 300 watts of pure sine wave connectability. Now with this one though, you have of course that USB-C port uh, that's gonna do 60 watts in and out charging capability. You also have two USB-A ports that's gonna do five volt, 2.4 amps with that. Then you have that DC plug and of course still have that digital display. It's actually 0% charged, but still lights up. So there's still enough charge in there, uh, but definitely I need to charge this. I actually used this all out the other day, so. Definitely need to charge that. Cigarette lighter right there for you. Now with it, still has that fixed handle, has the silicone pads on the bottom, has that cooling technology on the side. With this one, it's gonna take a little longer to charge this, of course. It's gonna be still about three and a half hours on a wall plug, uh, three and a half to a th um, little over three and a half hours on a car plug. Now this is where it's cool though. If you wanna multi-plug this in to charge it, you can use the USB-C port and the wall plug two hours fully charged up and running. Now, 293 watt hours of power means you're still gonna get a little over 40 hours of playtime on that Nintendo Switch. Uh, probably about 17 to 18 charges on your camera batteries. Uh, or even if you guys have drone batteries. Now, drone batteries take a lot more power, so you're probably gonna get about seven charges with that on this device. Now, 18% off for a portable little station that weighs about seven pounds can be carried around and taken with you is a great deal. This is actually a phenomenal deal, a great product. The 300 is a beautiful, beautiful piece of technology. Uh, thank you, Justin, for posting that. Any questions about the 300, guys? I don't see no questions. Hey, Ship Roman, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Tri uh, Valdiva, how's things been going? All right, guys, with that, I'm going to wait to see if some people pop in or ask questions, but we are going to be moving over to the 500. Now, the Explorer 500 is another beautiful little power station. If I pop over to that table, you guys are going to see a stack of products right there. Now, what you're going to see is, uh, what you're going to see is, of course, there's a stack of stuff blocked in the 500. We can actually move that over. Right there is the 500 in the middle. Now, the 500, if I zoom in, you guys will get a better look on that, right? So let's do that. Let's move it down. 500 is still a very accessible and portable device. This one does weigh about 13 and a half, 13 and a half so pounds with this. 
Now with it, you have one AC outlet at 500 watts of pure sine wave power on a 110 volt American style plug. Now with that, you do have three USB-A ports at 5 volt 2.4 amps. You still have that digital display and that fixed handle. Now with it though, you do have that input of that DC plug, but this is where it gets a little different. You actually have three DC output ports. Uh, one is gonna be like your cigarette lighter and the other two of course is gonna be your round plug. Hey Adam, I appreciate that. I really, really do. Chucky, how you doing, man? Now with this one though, there's a, a couple little differences on this one. It's a little bit larger of a house body, right? But it actually has a flashlight on the side. So if I hit that, we could turn the flashlight on or if I hold it down, uh, of course it'll go into SOS pattern and stuff like that. It has a larger cased body and of course the fixed handle. Now with this though, it's gonna take you about five and a half hours to fully charge this off a wall plug. Uh, it's also gonna take you about five and a half hours to charge it off a cigarette lighter in your car. So let's say you're taking a trip from Northern California to Southern California. Now I know it's gonna take you probably over five hours to do that, but you can actually do it, have it charged and don't have to worry about it. You have it when you're there and ready. So that's kind of cool with that. Now, if you guys have a solar panel, you definitely could charge it with a solar panel, no problem. Now, once you have it charged, you have 518 watt hours of power to do with as you please. So that means you can run your 45 watt, let's say flat screen TV, that's gonna be like your 32 inch up to about your 45 to 55 inch TV for seven hours of runtime. That's actually a good amount of time for that. Uh, for those of you that wanna run, like say your notebooks or smaller tablets, about 30 hours of runtime. If you need to, let's say, use this for your camping trip to keep that ice chest cold, that's right, the electric ice chest, you get about nine hours of runtime with that, of course, as well. Uh, and that's actually a cool idea. So you can actually keep your food cold while you're camping, uh, and have an extra cool. Or maybe you guys had a rolling brownout or a blackout and you need to get a little chill off of you, plug in that electric blanket and of course give you about four hours of runtime with that electric blanket. That means you or a loved one can get nice and snuggly and toasty plugged into your Jackery station. Now the one thing I did not mention is, is guys, when you have that solar panel plugged into these stations, yes, you can still connect up and actually run or use the plugs while it's still charging. That's totally accessible and will work that way. Now, for those of you that maybe need to run an air compressor or an air mattress or other devices, this will actually allow you to run about seven and a half to eight hours of runtime with that. And that's actually a good amount of time for that. So with that one, it's about 34% off tonight. Normally $529, I think it's, uh, coming in at like 349 for you. So that's actually a good deal with that. Now the cool part is, is they thought about it and they actually added the next one in here and that's with the solar panel. So you're gonna get the 500 plus the Solar Saga 100 panel. Now this kit's actually normally $800. It's actually 599 tonight. So you're gonna get that power station and of course the solar panel. That means you can have it up and running. That means if you have that solar panel, seven and a half hours it'll take to fully charge it off that one panel. And that's actually a good amount of time for you. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. So the 500 guys, great piece right there. Uh, it's a definitely a very good and quick piece. Good for the RV, road trip, camping, outdoors, quick emergencies or whatever you need around the house. Now, um, I believe it was Trent that was asking. I would say the 500 might work with the treadmill, uh, depending on that voltage of that treadmill. It probably won't run it all night, but you probably could connect up a treadmill to this. So any questions about that or the kit with the solar panel, please ask. Now, we're going to move over to the big brother. That's right, the big brother. We're going to bounce back. We're going to hit this up here. We're going to go into... Say preset three. That's you see that stack up there, right? Uh, right there, of course, is the one thousand. Now the one thousand is a nice larger style of device. Now the one thousand, of course, is going to do some amazing stuff for you. First and foremost, you have a thousand and two watt hours of power. You have three AC outlets. Those AC outlets are going to allow you to do a thousand watts of connectability. 
of pure sine wave power. Now that means you can connect up your 110 plug into this and use that. That's like your wall plugs, including your window AC. Yes, you can plug a window AC in this or on this off of this. Now the difference from the others is, is this actually has dual USB-C ports, dual USB-A ports, a DC 12, point, uh, 12 volt 10 amp, and you have of course other connectabilities with this. Now this of course is like a thousand dollar system, but there is a clippable coupon in there for $350 off. Now just like of course the 500, this one actually has a light on the side for you. So you can actually turn it on, use it as what you need. It has a larger cooling technology, it still has that fixed handle. Now this is gonna weigh over 20 pounds of weight, so do know it has a little bit of weight with it. Now the input ports, you have two different styles. You have that round DC plug, and then of course you have this like alligator clip style that's gonna allow you to connect up your solar panels. So you do have that with that. Now the charge time on this one's gonna be a little bit more, five hours fully charged on a wall plug. If you guys are taking a trip, let's say from Seattle down to of course the Redwoods, 11 and a half hours fully charged by the time you get there, you're ready for your camping trip down there or the beach trip or just traveling through the Redwoods and you're good to go. Now, that's a really cool idea to have that up and ready when you get there to do stuff. I mean, this would work great on the beach. I mean, just to have, a, you know, the little chest cool going or even just have your uh, radio plugged in. So awesome idea. Now, running this, though, we're going to talk about a few things. Yes, it is 1,002 watt hours of power. Um, it's 1,000 watts of pure sine wave power. Can peak a little bit over that. Will run a few things. First and foremost, your flat screen TVs. Yes, you can do that for about nine hours. Your 100 watt movie projectors can run for 10 hours. That means you can do a movie night out back, have that projector going, and have some fun with no problem. That three watt light bulb on the side can run for approximately 65 hours. Um, that's really cool. For those of you that are more worried about, let's say power outages and other devices, uh, other, other things like that, maybe natural disaster, you just need to have a little bit of heat going, plug in that electric blanket, 11 hours of runtime, you're good to go. Now you could cook off of this like your little electric grills, like your little camping grills for about 50 minutes or so with that. It's a great little piece, awesome little price. And of course that clippable coupon saves you $350 off. You can't go wrong with that. Now we also have the 100 plus system or the 100 and a solar panel kit here tonight. So you're gonna get, of course, the Jack Re-Explorer uh, 100, plus you're gonna get two Solar Saga 100 panels. This is a $1,649 system or kit that's actually got a $400 clippable coupon. So you're gonna get that power station, of course, and a beautiful little solar panel. I'll actually give you guys a quick look at that solar panel because this is the solar panel that comes with it. This is a cool little piece right here, of course, of technology. Now, this is a nice little piece that folds out and of course can grab that light as you need. So they're giving you two of these in this kit. So definitely worth adding that to your cart and checking it out. So great price guys, honestly $400 off is a really, really good, good deal. Any questions guys? If not, we can move over to the 1500 Pro. Now, the 1500 Pro is going to be in their different body style of casings. Now, if we definitely bounce back over here and we say preset one, you guys are going to notice the table of products. I actually have this one blocking the 1500 Pro. The 1500 Pro is right over there, and we'll, we'll definitely move, of course, the carousel in there. We'll zoom you guys in so you guys well, we can get the zoom door today. There we go. That's the 1500 Pro. Now the 1500 Pro is of course their square body style. Now with this you have a handle. The handle does of course fold up and is of course has silicone padding so you can carry it around. Now this station's actually a really cool piece because it's got three AC outlets at 1800 watts max. Now just like all of the other stations, each plug is of course individually switched so you can turn them on and off as you go. 
Now with that, you guys are going to notice that they have a higher contrast rate of a screen. That means you have that dark black background with the bright orange and white to read that digital screen a lot better. It's going to pop a lot more. Now with this, you have two USB-A ports at 18 watts max charging capability, two USB-C ports at 100 watts max charging capability. You also have this flashlight that's actually hidden behind that cord that can be turned on, of course, in multi-mode or SOS pattern with you. Now this is where it gets kind of cool. Because you have those switches, you have the display, you also have that 12-volt plug. This is a cool one. This has actually got a lot of power for a 1500 Pro. Now, this is going to give you 1,512 watt hours of power, guys, on this device. Now, with this device, you have dual voltage monitoring systems. You have eight temperature sensors and, of course, an intelligent BMS connectability inside that. That's packed full of features. Now, it's going to take you about two hours to fully charge that on a wall plug, 16 and a half hours in a car. And if you guys have multiple solar panels, of course, it's going to take a couple hours. I is definitely action packed in that. Now the runtime on this is gonna get is gonna be where it's kind of cool because you have 1512 watt hours of power. That means you can run that flat screen TV all day, no problem, 17 and a half hours. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, maybe you guys want to bake a potato in the microwave. Uh, you're gonna be able to do that, of course, for about 70 minutes of runtime, though. All right, uh, that's it. That's all you get with the microwave. Uh, for those of you that want to run that 5-watt light bulb, 115 hours. That means you can have your table lamp up and going until your power comes back on. Or those of you that just want it for emergencies when the power is out, or maybe you guys have natural disasters that hit a lot, you'll be able to charge your phone approximately 63 times off of this. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, for those of you that want to run, let's say, like, you know, the movie projector, 15 hours of runtime. That's a long time with that. Uh, backyard barbecues or, you, you know, you just uh, maybe you have a side gig of doing shaved ice. You should be able to run your shaved ice machine for about two hours with that. Uh, or even your leaf blowers, angle grinders, weed whackers, pole saws and everything else can run off of this. with The one thing I will tell you, though, is the 1500 Pro right here does weigh 37 and a half pounds. So got some weight to it. Now, actually, no. So that's a good question, Adam. Do these make noise? Now, the most noise you're going to hear out of these devices is when you hit that little switch. That's it. You're really not going to hear these devices. Um, yes, there are fans inside. The fans are actually super quiet. I believe they're under 50 decibels of sound uh, with these. So you're not going to notice the fans in there whatsoever. My house fan is louder than that, so no problem. But like I said, yeah, the most noise you hear is when you switch the switch on and you turn it off. So you'll hear that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you will hear it. So that's it. Yeah, definitely. You can definitely have this running in your room uh, with a sleeping baby. No problem. It's not going to wake the child. It's not going to wake the animals or anything like that. That definitely was a good question. Now, like I said, 41% off tonight, guys. Normally $1,700 product. This is $999. That's a great, great deal. Now, they also have the kit. So that's going to be the 1500 Pro plus two Solar Saga 200 watt panels. Those are big panels. That's a trifold design with a quad panel. Uh, it's going to produce a great amount of power to charge this station up. This kit's normally like $2,700. It's actually $2,099 tonight, 22% off. That means since you're purchasing over that uh, $1,000 price range, use that code down there in the bottom and get, of course, 5% off. Does each... Um, so, yes, you will actually... So, if you want... Yeah, technically, you could leave all of these plugs on if you need just by hitting that switch. But I will tell you, though, that little green light does draw a slight a bit of power, so it does draw it. Now, you will have to switch it on and off to use it, yes, if you don't want to leave it left on. Uh, so, yeah. But that's the cool part. So you can switch and turn them off so you're not drawing that power of, out of every switch or every plug. But if you mean each of the AC outlets, one switch leaves all three on and you're good to go. You don't have to hit anything else.
So right there, guys, great pieces, awesome options. If you need a 1500 Pro, that's definitely worth checking out. Now we're going to move over to its brother, the 2000 Pro. Now the 2000 Pro is actually on the opposite side of the table right there for you. Now same housing, of course, but it is packed with more power. Now 2160 watt hours of power with this. This has actually got three AC outlets at 2200 watts of pure sine wave connectability. That means you can run a window AC off of this. I apologize, everybody. Allergies are flaring. Now, with this one, though, you have, the, of course, the dual USB-C ports, the dual USB-A ports. You have that cigarette lighter plug that's actually corked uh, right down here. So if you pop that open, you'll see that. You also have that lighting just like the other one. So you have that light bulb on there. Charging this two hours wall plug, fully charged, you're good to go. Car outlet, I'm going to be one of them... Finicky people, 24 hours. It's going to take a while to charge this. Now, if you have solar panels, of course, it's not going to take as long to charge it. Now, with this one, though, since you have 2160 watt hours of power and that 2200 watts of connectability, you're going to run other things off of this. Let's say your 1150 watt window AC could run off of this device without a problem for about two hours. So that means your 10,000 watt BTU window AC, two hours of runtime, Get that chill going, and you're good to go. Now, for those of you that actually had a power outage, connect up your actual kitchen stove to the 2000 Pro, and that will actually be able to run for about three and a quarter hours for you. That means you should be able to get that food nice and frozen or keep it frozen till hopefully the power can come back on. Now, for those of you that just want to run a blender out back while doing a, uh, you know, a luau or something, Five hours of runtime on a blender. That means you can make a lot of daiquiris, a lot of smoothies, or just a lot of milkshakes for everybody. So that's a great one. I actually like the 2000 Pro. 37% uh, off, normally like $18.99. It's $11.99 tonight. That means you can definitely use that coupon code, save yourself 5%, and you're good to go. Now with this, I also will recommend that you can actually get, of course, the extender cable if you guys get a solar panel. I uh, get the extender cable and stuff with that. Now, Jackery does offer a jumper cable set, so you can actually charge your battery from a jumper cable uh, if you guys need. It's not going to allow you to jump start your car, but it'll allow you to charge your car battery so you can actually get a jump start. Uh, that's a cool idea that they do that. Now, with it, of course, they also have the option of the 2000 Pro with, let's go there, the 2000 Pro and some solar panels. That means you're going to get the 2000 Pro with two of the Solar Saga 200 panels. This kit is actually 47% off tonight. This kit's normally $3,600. It's only $1,899. That means you're going to get that beautiful 2000 Pro plus two of those large solar panels. Now, of course, the solar panels are always waterproof, water resistant, can be used in harsh and wet weather. I always tell you to tie them down, though, because you don't want it to fly off like a kite. 47% uh, off, that's a smoking, smoking deal. That's an amazing deal, honestly. That's a, I, Even I didn't know that price uh, tonight, so that was one for me. Uh, so, guys, great price point right there with that solar panels. Now, for those of you that want to move into the larger systems, and then what do I mean by larger system? Well... This is technically their largest system that they have. This is the 3000 Pro. Now, this is actually a full kit. It's the 3000 Pro plus two solar panels. Uh, we're going to actually move cameras. We're going to bounce over here to the middle of the road. Now, you see those two large systems on the bottom of that stack. The 3000 Pro is on that side and actually has a little RGB light set connected up to it. Now, with this one, you're going to have, of course, 3,024 watt hours of power. With this, though, you have five AC outlets. Four of those are your standard three-prong uh, American-style out AC outlets. Now, those are going to do 3,000 watts of pure sine wave power. That means you can even plug in, let's say, a welding machine because it does peak about 6,000 watts. So you could definitely do that. That means this can be used in, of course, 
a wide range of varieties or options. Let's say like your woodshed, your tool shed, even your uh, shop or, you know, office. Now, the cool part about this is, is though it is a suitcase style design. Now, what you don't see is, is if I move over here to this little part, that is what it looks like off of the table. It actually has three inch large wheels. It has a telescopic handle. That handle, of course, is made from aluminum. That handle will allow you to tip it over and roll it around in the places you need to roll it. Now, one thing we'll tell you, though, it's not going to roll on sand that well. It will roll, but it's not going to roll that well on sand because sand is going to, of course, you know, drop down. This power station, though, does weigh 64 pounds. Now, that's 64 pounds of weight that you're going to have to move around. It does have orange handles on the side, so you can lift it, but it does have the wheels, so you don't have to lift it. Now, of course, with this, if you need, it works with an app. Now, that app is, of course, iOS and Android-based. So that means you can connect it up to pretty much any phone out there or tablet that you need to use. Uh, the app is completely free. doesn't cost you nothing with that. Now, with this, of course, it's got 12 forms of protection, 9 temperature sensors built in. Now, with it, of course, you still have the two USB-C ports and the two USB-A ports. You have that cigarette lighter plug. Phil, what's up, buddy? How are you doing, man? Now, ranging of times that you could use this, guys. You can run that 1150-watt window AC for about three hours. That 3-watt to 5-watt light bulb, about 200 to 220 hours of runtime with that. If you want to run other devices, that's up to you, of course, with that. Now, it's about two and a half hours to fully charge it on a wall plug right there. I'll show you guys a little image for that. Um, approximately 34 hours in the car. Can't, 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 can't stop that, guys. It's a big power station. Uh, it's just one of them things. Uh, we're going to, of course, bounce over here. We're going to close that out. We're going to come back over here to this. Uh, wrong camera. That one. That's the one we definitely want right there. Now, with this, though, you can, guys, run a bunch of other stuffs with this. Of course, that's where we're going to get at. Because you can do, of course, your table saws and other pieces off of this. You can even run your kitchen stove. Most of those stoves are about 800 watts. So you're going to get about three hours of runtime off that. Uh, of course, back to that blender. If you guys really need to run a blender with this, about eight hours. I mean, doesn't everybody need a blender? Uh, for those of you that want to do a movie night out back, plug in that projector, plug in that, of course, that inflatable screen and your Bluetooth speakers and have a whole movie night out back. No problem with this. Now, I've actually used this outside. I've connected it up to a few things. I even had solar panels plugged into it uh, for video purposes, but you could do that. Uh, for those of you that want to connect up, um, I'm, you did? Well, you didn't invite me, Phil. For those of you that are like into RC cars and drones, right? You can charge your drone approximately 70 times off of this. Most of those drones are about 90 watts of power per battery. Uh, so you can charge that little lithium battery off of this, no problem. Uh, for those of you that are in photography and videography like I do, uh, about 126 charges on your 8-watt batteries for those DSLR cameras. Uh, so you're good to go with that. Have no problem. Your 80-watt uh, laptops. About 35 or so uh, with that, of course, 101 charges on your iPhone. Uh, that's going to be like your iPhone 3 or so. Adam, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, for those of you that are over on, of course, the other channel, pop over on the Jackery channel as well. I'll have Justin post that link down there for you. Now, of course, that is the 300 Pro, their largest standalone system. Now, that standalone system is a beautiful power station that you're not going to be disappointed with whatsoever. Uh, it's an amazing, amazing product. Now, for those of you that want to get back over into, of course, a little baby of a power station. It's not really that little, but it's a cool one. This is the 300 Plus. Now, the 300 Plus, of course, goes back into the range of those little ones we were showing you, but it has that new body style. It has this beautiful beautiful little handle that does fold up and of course charges with that larger orange wall plug with that now of course with this guys you have that one ac outlet for you to 300 watts of pure sine wave connectability that means you can run your cpap machine or other devices off this that table lamp even that tv if you really wanted you have two usb c ports 100 watts max now one of those isn't an out port the other is just an out port 
You have one USB-A port. Now, this USB-A port is only a 15-watt port, though, so do know. Now, this power station can still fit in your backpack, and it only weighs 8 and a quarter pounds, so it's not super heavy. Now, with this 288 watt hours of power, which is a great amount of power for you, that means you're going to be able to run your Nintendo Switch for about 40 hours off of this. Your house fan, that's going to be like your oscillating house fan, about four and a half hours of runtime with that. Now, for those of you that do videography, photography, and all of that, you can do that with this, no problem. Plug it into one of the plugs, have it charging, or even run a Keystone. You're not going to be disappointed. Now, the cool thing is, is with this one, though, if I actually turn on the little switch and power it up, and you guys will see that once I hit the power button, you're going to see it has that newer screen. Well, of course, I hit the power button and shut it off. It's got that newer black screen with that high contrast. Now, this one does have, of course, with this, that flashlight, of course, that if I can hit my hand in there and turn it on, you have that flashlight, of course, on this. It's kind of cool. Still has the silicone pads and everything else with this. Now, the charge time on this one, though, I'm going to tell you guys, under an hour and a half, fully charged, no problem. If you're using that one USB-C port to charge it, it's going to take about two and a half to three hours to charge that. But it can be done with the USB-C. If you want to charge it in your car, four and a half hours, that's just what it is. So with this, guys, it's 20% off tonight. It's like $239. This is an amazing piece for you. Now, what I will tell you, though, is, is I, if it was me, I would actually get the next one in the carousel, and that's the full kit. That's going to be this and a solar panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that down, and I'm going to grab you guys the solar panel that comes with this kit. This, of course, is that solar panel. This is the 40-watt solar panel. Now, this 40-watt solar panel is a really, really cool piece. Still made from their monocrystalline solar cells, but it has this cool magnetic little latch that holds it together. And it has their contrast logo. And it has the eye ringlets that you can tie it down. With this, of course, it is a trifold design, but it is a quad panel. Right there, you guys can see that nice little solar panel, but it's not that little. Yes, it can fit in your backpack or a notebook, but once you pop it open, guys, right there, you have a nice large panel that's going to get that light and charge that device like you need. Now, this will charge that 300 plus in approximately seven hours. So you'll get that charge with that. Uh, so you have a good little piece with this. Now, this is a limited deal with this one, guys. So 25% off. Normally a $400 kit. This is $300, like $299.98 uh, for this. So that's a cool deal. And yes, this is actually a notebook size. It's literally that small. You can put it in a backpack, carry it around, no problem. Uh, right back here is where you'll actually connect up the plug to connect it in to your power station with that. So any questions about the 400 plus or the 40 watt panel of 300 plus? Uh, Miss 80 the goth queen. Hello. How are you doing? Now we're going to move into the modular systems. And what do I mean by modular systems? I mean... You can actually expand these systems. That means you can add either battery packs or other stuff to this. We're going to talk about the 1000 Plus. Now, the 1000 Plus is a really, really cool power station that's going to give you about 1,264 watt hours of power. Now, with that, of course, the 1000 Plus by itself is about $949. It's a great deal, great price, but I want to show you guys the next one in the carousel, and that's because it's the kit. The kit, of course, is the 1000 Plus Plus Solar Panels. Now, this kit is actually an amazing deal tonight. If you purchase this one, guys, there's actually an extra savings clippable coupon in the Amazon store page that you can click that's going to give you guys that 100 plus power station. And that's right. That means you purchase this system, you're going to get that free with this purchase. Now, of course, you are using that over a thousand dollar price range. You can also use that 5% clip on code as well. Now, with that, if we pop over here, um, that is not the screen, but we can say, hey, whatever. Uh, the 100 plus is actually right there in the middle uh, for you. Now, that's the 100 plus. The 100 plus is a cool little piece. This is 1264 watt hours of power but it's got 2,000 watts of pure sine wave power through those three AC outlets. 
Uh, and that's when it's going to get kind of cool. And I'm actually going to get up and kind of show you guys this. Because it does have the LED lighting, but it doesn't have that rubberized cork no more. It's got just that coat. So you turn it on just like that, you're up and going. Get it again, it's going to get brighter, get it again, brighter. And of course, it's source power. It has a high contrast rate. But since this is, of course, the Plus series, you can actually connect this up to the app and control all of these switches from the app. So you can actually turn them on and off from the app from anywhere so you don't have to worry about it. Three AC outlets, of course, 2,000 watts, means you can plug in pretty much whatever you need to run off of this. Now you still have that two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports and that 12 volt 10 amp zero fiber plug. Now, of course, this kit does come with two solar panels and the power station. Uh, it's a great deal, normally $1,700 price point, $1,249, plus you get that 100 plus system. Now charging it though, it's going to be about two hours or less to fully charge this. So I'm going to say about an hour and three or a little over, let's say a quarter under or two hours or so. Um, so less than two hours, fully charged, wall plug, you're good to go. In a car, I'm going to say six and a half to seven hours depending on your car. Now, my car actually has a wall plug in it, so definitely I can plug it into a wall plug style and charge it quicker than I would uh, doing the cigarette lighter. So you have those options with this. Now, running devices off of this, that's what's going to get kind of cool because you can technically run a window AC off of this, no problem. This thing runs about 30 decibels, so it is very, very quiet. I uh, see so you don't have to worry about that. It has all of those shock protections and, of course, the safety built in with this. It's got Class 10 uh, UL certifications with this, 62 forms of protection, uh, which is great. Now, running different pieces, of course, that's where we're going to get into it. Uh, let's say you guys want to run a power drill off of that. Yeah, you can run a power drill off of that for about five hours, depending on the size of that power drill. Uh, leaf blowers, angle grinders, and other pieces, no problem with that. Now, this kit, like I said, is a great, great price point. Uh, it's an amazing piece. So if you guys want the 100-plus kit with the solar panels, make sure to clip that clippable coupon down there. That's going to give you that 100-plus, plus use that coupon code that's in my banner down there. Um, I will actually have uh, Justin reshare that uh, coupon code for you guys in chat. Now with it, of course, like I said, it is an expandable system. So what do I mean by expandable? Well, you can actually add another battery. And that battery is actually on the opposite side of it up there. Uh, if you guys see those two pieces up top on the other side, that is the battery. So this, of course, is the Jackery kit. Now this is, of course, going to double your battery power with this. So you're going from that 1,200 watt, 1,264 watts to 2,528 watts of watt hour power. And that's a lot of power. That means you can run your window AC for approximately two and a half hours with no problem off of this. And that's where it's really, really cool. Now this kit, normally a $2,000 kit, it is 20% off tonight, $1,600. That's a great, great deal. Now, what I will tell you, though, is, is you can actually have three batteries total. That means you can go all the way up to five kilowatts of hour power. That means you can run pretty much your kitchen stoves and everything else for a good amount of time to be living off the grid or just in emergencies and everything in between. Really, really cool idea for that. And, of course, that battery, guys, I'm going to pop over there and show you guys the battery a little bit. So the battery's going to cool. So this battery does have, of course, a screen. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me still. That screen is right here and it actually clicks open and shows you guys as a handle. Yes, I'm hiding back here behind the stations. That's how much they are fat. Has a handle, of course, and is linked by a cable. Now the cable I will show you guys up close uh, because, well, the cable is kind of cool as well. So let's show you guys the live camera. And this is, of course, that cable. This cable is large. Uh, this is a... Um, a little bit over a one-aught style sizing of jacket uh, for that. It's got these nice little ends, of course, and the ends, of course, do have clips that lock into place. So this is, of course, your jumper cable. Uh, so this is going to link, of course, the batteries to the power station. It's going to go A to B, A to B, A to B uh, to do that for you. 
So that's a great kit. Both of those kits are amazing pieces. The one that we were showing you guys does come with that extra little uh, power station. So if you need it, definitely check it out. Now we're going to move up into their largest system, and that's going to be the 2000 Plus. Now the 2000 Plus is a modular system just like the 1000 Plus. can work with the app. Now it's like the 3000 Pro in size. So what do I mean by that? If, if I pop down to here, you're going to see it right next to the 3000 Pro. Now this, of course, is a modular system. It's 2042 watt hours of power, uh, LiPo 4 cells. Uh, 3,000 watts of pure sine wave power through the five AC outlets. Now you have four standard, and of course that fifth one's going to allow you to plug in your TIG or MIG welders, your old school house dryers, your washers and machines, and other devices. Uh, even your EV chargers. Uh, one second. Sorry, had to sneeze. That was new. Now with this, of course... You have the dual USB-C ports, 100 watts max, charging capability. That's going to be for your power-hungry devices that run off of that, like your MacBook Airs and everything. Hey, thanks, Phil. I was not expecting that. Now, charging times on this, of course, is going to be about two hours on a wall plug, 25 hours in a cigarette lighter, or multiple hours, depending on how many solar panels you have. Now, this, of course, runs about 30 decibels of noise rating. Uh, it's going to give you about a 10-year lifespan or over 4,000 charge cycles before it starts to degrade down the battery life. Uh, and that's actually kind of cool. So it's going to last longer than that, but it does have a degradation. Now with this, since it is 3,000 watts of pure sine wave power, it can peak at 6,000 watts, which means you can run that 5,800-watt welding machine or laser uh, cutter. Uh, and that's kind of cool with that. Now... Other items that you could definitely run off of this, your CPAP machine for about 150 hours, uh, your desktop PCs, anywhere from two hours up. Um, and then what do I mean by two hours? Well, mine runs a 1200 watt power supply. That's why I say that. But if you have a 200 watt little PC, 12 hours of runtime. Your 10,000 BTU or 1150 watt window AC, approximately two hours of runtime. Uh, your 520 watt refrigerator, about three, three and a quarter hours. For those of you that want to run, what could we talk about that we could run? Uh, hair dryers. Maybe you guys need to do your hair up or maybe you guys are having, let's say, a wedding and you need a power. Uh, maybe you're holding it out where there's no power. Take one of these. Use the hair dryer or your curling irons. You're going to get about an hour of runtime off that with the hair dryer, though. Hair dryers run about 1,600 to 1,700 watts of power. They are crazily high-powered machines. Uh, so you could do that, though. Now, for those of you that want to run your, let's say, little electric lawnmowers, about two hours of runtime, your hand drills, about three hours or other devices. Maybe you have uh, an electric water pump that runs your well. Uh, you need to have some water. 20 hours of runtime with that. So you're going to be about 60 watt machine with that one. Uh, for those of you that want to run or charge your phones, yeah, you can charge your phone approximately 60 times off of this, no problem. Now this device, of course, is about $2,200 for you guys, so it's a good deal, great piece, but there's a $330 clippable coupon. Now not only is that, but we also have, of course, the kit, the 200 plus, plus two solar panels. That means you're gonna get the same power station and two of the Solar Saga 200 panels for about $3,300. Now, I say that with a little bit of a hint. There's actually a $735 clippable coupon on that kit. So if you want that power station and two solar panels, save yourself $735 plus use that 5% clippable coupon and save yourself some more money. Hey, can't go wrong with that. Now again, it's a modular system, so you actually have a battery kit, and that's going to be the 4000 kit. Now that battery is actually sitting right above it, so it's a larger size of the 1000. Now the battery, of course, with this means you're going to double the power. You're going to go from, of course, that 2,042 watt hours of power to 4,085 watt hours of power. That's a good amount of power with that. Now, this kit, of course, is about $3,800, but it has an $855 clippable coupon. That saves you an amazing amount of money for the system. 
Now the cool part about the system is, is you can actually have five batteries linked up to this one power station. Each one of those batteries can actually have solar panels connected up to it too. So you can actually charge it at the same time. So you can have multiple solar panels connected. What gets even better than that is, is you can actually link two of these systems up and add 10 batteries total, which means you're living off of the grid, not paying your electric company because you have multiple solar panels hooked up, charging these systems and you don't have to worry about it. That's where I would go. Uh, great systems, awesome pieces with that. Uh, so any questions about any of the systems, definitely ask. We are here to answer. Now with that, of course, we've been talking about the systems. Let's talk about the solar panels. Now we're gonna get into the 100 watt panel. This is the 100 watt panel. This 100 watt panel does 100 watts of charging output at 18 volts with this ETFE handle, and of course that nice high contrast. That means it's carryable, you can carry it around. This one is compatible with the 240, the 300, the 300 plus, the 500, the 1000, the 1000 plus, and the 1500 Pro systems. Now with the ETFE handle, monocrystal and solar cells, bifold design with a large, large solar panel. Now with this, this is gonna grab about 23 and a half per percent more efficiency in lower light settings than others on the market with this. Uh, as you guys can see, it's grabbing all that light, of course, from my lights and reflecting it back to you. That's how much it grabs that light. Now with it, it has, of course, built in uh, kickstands, of course, that Velcro on. On the back, it does have this little pocket. The pocket does carry, of course, the connecting cable for you. Now with this, of course, it's got about a nine foot cable. That cable does have, of course, an adapter plug in case you have the smaller systems. Now with it, it's also got this orange plug. Now if you guys can kind of see that. That orange plug does have a USB-A port and a USB-C port. That means you can connect up a cell phone or a laptop and charge those devices through this plug just like that without actually having the system uh, because that's what that little controller is going to do. And when you're done, you zip it back up and you're good to go. Now the Solar Saga 100 panel, of course, has those Irene lits. Do recommend using those guys because this is literally a large sale. So you do not want that wind to pick it up and carry it away. The other cool part is, is if you guys are looking up in here in the corners, there's these round rings. These rings are actually magnets. Uh, so you have a magnet on one side and you have a metal uh, connector on each side and it's gonna close it and latch it shut so you don't have to worry about it. That's the Solar Saga 100 panel. This is actually 20% off tonight, it's $238. That's an amazing deal for you. So if you guys need a solar panel, this is a good option and a great option for those systems. Now, for those of you that want a larger panel, we're gonna talk about the Solar Saga 200 panel. Now, this panel is uh, it's actually a good price point tonight. It's like $419, normally $700. Now, I actually have this over here where we actually have a video. So we're gonna show you guys this in work. Now, this is, of course, the Solar Saga 200 watt panel. Now, the 200 watt panel, of course, is going to work with a multitude of different devices, ranging from, of course, the 1500 and up. Now, we're going to actually talk about the actual stations that it can run, all right? Let's go into this. So, the 200 panel is going to be able to run the 1000 Pro, the 1500 Pro, the 2000 Pro, the 2000 Plus, and 3000 Pro stations. Now, still has that monocrystal and solar cell, fully waterproof and water resistant in harsh and wet weather. Has the ETFE laminated case that actually zips up and, of course, can be collapsed down. Comes with a nine and a half foot cable to connect it up. And, of course, is a trifold design with a quad panel. Now, with this, it has three kickstands to set it up. You should be able to have this set up and used in about... 30 seconds. Now, of course, it took me a little longer than that, and that's because, well, it's my first time. Plus, I am recording with neighbors outside trying to walk over to me, and I'm trying to keep them from there. You guys see me staring like a deer in a headlight. That's because my neighbors were walking towards me while I was recording, and I didn't want to have to stop the recording. Now, with it, of course, you're going to plug it in, you're going to set it up, and you're going to find the best spot in your yard to get the most lighting. Now with this, of course, you can see this. It actually looks very bright, but I have a large building that sits in front of this. 
So the sun is not actually hitting directly on it. That is all glow from the sun. That means you guys are going to be able to get, of course, I was getting about 150 to 155 watts of power uh, charge rate right there just from that quick plug. Now, I'm sure if I were to let it sit there longer, that charge rate would go up higher and higher as it went. And that's kind of cool. So you can definitely you do that and have this charged and going. It's the price point with this one. It's like $419 tonight. That's a really, really good deal. Now with that, guys, remember if you guys buy multiple products tonight, use that 5% clippable coupon uh, for anything over $1,000 and save yourself some money. Now also, if you guys get that 1,000 uh, kit, uh, that's going to be the, the station and the solar panels. You're going to get that 100 plus power station as well. Uh, and plus, you guys can use 5% off. Hey, save yourself some money. Bunch of great deals, bunch of great products, and amazing prices. So definitely check that out. Uh, is, does anybody have any questions? Let me check chat, catch up. Let's see. Phil, thank you for posting that, Phil. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, no questions there. Nope, no questions. I doesn't see any questions. Uh, with that, guys, of course, uh, hey, I appreciate that, man. Really, really do. What I will tell you, Phil, I will be back, I believe, Thursday. So uh, we do have another stream Thursday, and I think, is it Thursday and Monday or Thursday and Saturday? I can't remember that, that one after that. But I do have another stream this Thursday, guys, on the 21st. Uh, so do pop in around the, on the 21st at 9 p.m. Uh, for that stream. We'll see you guys then. So I want to thank you guys for being here. I will see you guys on the next one. It's been a lot of fun. Make sure to follow the, hit that follow button so you guys get those notifications when we go live. Have a good night, everybody.